breaking news. The entire world is under attack. Everyone needs to find shelter immediately. Every part of the world is being attacked by a new threat. The elite foreign champions of the regions have come together, but have fallen to an unknown trainer. Sources indicate that the trainer is a being from another dimension who wields a powerful gauntlet with the ability to control some of the most powerful legendary beasts. Is there anyone who can save us? This could be the end of Pokemon as we know it. What is up geeks? Welcome back to the Geek Market and welcome back to Infinity War Week. A week of Infinity War content to get you guys hyped for Infinity War. So, the Infinity Stones. They are what Thanos is after. The six singularities that together give the user the power of a god. The ability to snap one's finger and be able to destroy and control everything. Their power is unparalleled. They each possess powers that combined with the others make them extremely powerful. So let's have a little look at these six stones. So we've got the Space Stone, the Mind Stone, the Reality Stone, the Power Stone, the Time Stone, and the Soul Stone. And like I said, when these six are together, you become the, the ultimate being in the universe. Now, as we know, Thanos in Infinity War is going to get all six stones and completely wreak havoc. But what would it be like if he was in the Pokemon multiverse? What if Thanos just appeared through a dimension or was an evil team villain? So today, guys, we're going to look at Thanos' team, what six Pokemon he would put together. Now, instead of having Pokeballs, Thanos could use the gauntlet itself the Infinity Gauntlet. He would come down and use the Infinity Gauntlet as an artifact that could control Pokemon. We know in the history of Pokemon there's been many artifacts like the Pokeball that can control and contain Pokemon. So the Infinity Gauntlet could just be an extremely powerful artifact. Like I said, Lucario was held captured in a crystal and like I said, there are many other times Pokemon have been held within a device. So let's break down Thanos' team. So, Thanos' first Pokemon is the Time Stone Pokemon. Trapped within the Time Stone is Palkia, the legendary Pokemon of space. Palkia has the ability to warp dimensions and to create portals in space. This Pokemon actually controls space, and with this move Spatial Rend, it can change dimension with space. It is a deadly Pokemon and a great start for Thanos' team. So with Palkia being the Space Stone, it makes a lot of sense that the Time Stone would go to his counterpart, Dialga. Dialga is a beast, a Steel Dragon type Pokemon with the ability to control and manipulate time. Together, alone, Dialga and Palkia have the ability to completely destroy and change the time-space continuum. Thanos could already destroy everything with just these two Pokemon. Up next, Thanos' third Pokemon would be the Pokemon within the Soul Stone. So the Soul Stone Pokemon I've chosen is Giratina, the third Pokemon of creation from the Sinnoh region. Now, a little bit of background knowledge because the Soul Stone isn't around at the moment in the MCU, we haven't seen it. The Soul Stone gives the unit the ability to communicate with the dead, to create another realm, a soul world. So I, there was a few Pokemon I could have gone with, but Giratina being a ghost dragon type Pokemon, known as the Devil Pokemon, and the ability to travel to the Distortion World makes this ideal Pokemon for the Soul Stone. So up next is the Reality Stone. Now this was a tricky one, and the Pokemon I've chosen is Hoopa Unbound. Now let me explain. The Reality Stone we see in the MCU is the Ether. Now the Ether is the Reality Stone, and the, the stone basically gives the user to con completely manipulate the fabric of of everything. It gives the user the ability to almost wish for whatever they want, even if that goes against scientific nature. So the fact that it allows you to wish makes a lot of sense that the legendary Pokemon would be a genie or an ability to do that. The other thing that links well with Hoopa Unbound is it has the ability to get things from other dimensions and change and distort reality, which fits in with the reality stone. 
Up next is the Power Stone, and the Pokemon I've chosen is Yvettel, the Pokemon of Destruction. Yvettel is literally the Pokemon that destroys everything. And the Power Stone, as we've seen from Guardians of the Galaxy, completely atomizes everything. It enhances the abilities of the, the strength of the user and gives the ability to literally wipe things out, which is exactly what Yvettel does. Five down, last Pokemon, and the last slot goes to Mewtwo Y. Mega Mewtwo Y, yes guys. So the final stone is the Mind Stone, and it gives the user the ability to literally enhance their mental and psychic abilities. It also allows them to control and manipulate others. So it had to be a powerful psychic tech Pokemon. Now, I could have gone with Deoxys, but I think Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo Y, number one, looks a lot like Vision, which I love, even though Deoxys does also look a bit like Vision. But one, I love Mewtwo as a, char as, as a character and as a Pokemon, and I just think the idea of having a Mega Stone attached somewhere on the gauntlet is also a brilliant touch. So there we have it, the Mad Titans team, his six Pokemon, the Sinister Six, each Pokemon possessing the power within the stone to literally destroy reality as you know it. This would be the greatest Pokemon fight that you have ever fought. He would not only jeopardize a region or even the Pokemon world, but the entire universe would bend at these six Pokemon and Thanos as well. So do you think you've got what it takes to defeat Thanos, do you think you could beat the Mad Titan? And what do you think of his Pokemon? I hope you've liked this video, guys. And if you want to see more on Pokemon, Marvel, or anything else Geek Man Cave, don't forget to hit that like button. And remember, my Marvel Infinity War competition is still running. If you would like to win six custom painted Infinity Stones for free, all you need to do, guys, is like any of the Infinity War Week videos that have come out this week and comment in any of the comment sections down below, and I will be picking the winners this Friday. Again, geeks, it's your cave, it's your rules, and I'll see you next time.